prospectors in a blue Toyota Corona. Black Fist Pay Pay ID 116EX. I repeat, 116EX. Fast cars. Ground theft auto pursuit. Computer generated imagery and other action film ingredients combined as young filmmaker Finny Gambo dares to join the League of Filmmakers daring to create action sequences within the Nigerian film and industry. Following impressive reviews from his older short films, the young undergraduate of civil engineering from Covenant University presents his new offerings, another short film titled Pursuit. This is not getting cars across Seme border. This is something big, something that will set you up for life. No, 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 no chief, chief, I'm, I'm done. Done when I say you are done. It was inspired primarily by growing up in Lagos. I noticed there's a lot of development in infrastructure, especially the emergency period. So basically, as a filmmaker, what I tried to do is to use film as a medium to correct perceptions and try to rebrand the African continent. Because there's a certain expectation of what Africa is in diaspora. They think that we are in provision. We don't even have facilities to actually run a nation. But I've seen a lot of um, development in Nigeria. I've seen cool RRS police cars. I've seen amazing ambulance, LRU system. So I was watching a video on YouTube. I saw this amazing response system. So that inspired me. Then part of the things I tried to do with film is to try to use film as a medium to correct um, societal challenges. So there have been some issues about um, people committing crime with the right justification. So basically the film is said to tell you that there's no reason to commit crime. There's no right reason to commit crime. So basically that's where the idea started. They wanted to do this high speed chase action film in the heart of Marina, Lagos, and um, some other interesting stuff. The Nigerian filming industry, although already big on storytelling, finds it a bit challenging interpreting high-speed action sequences. With the success of action movies from abroad within the Nigerian box office clearly showing a robust taste for the genre, Gambo quickly joins the few other filmmakers in the country trying to provide local content in that lane. My motivations are really inspired by how my childhood was. I did a couple of daring stuff in high school. So that mentality that everything is possible if you put your mind to it has been my, my mantra, so to say. So I basically saw that it's actually possible to do an action film if you have the right funding and if you have the right partnership as well. So I, I look beyond um, the status quo because I, I kind of like gone into the cost consumers and this they really want it and it's actually achievable. So I kind of outlined all the things that I needed to make sure that it was possible and I tried to partner with the best of the best in the industry and um, went about it. But basically I, I just I just um, if I want to do something I stop complaining about it, I just do it. So if you see a Hollywood action film, it's usually at the backdrop of New York, somewhere, um, yes, in New York, downtown New York, very interesting background. So what was our interesting backdrop? That was CMS Marina. So definitely we know the logistics of shooting in Marina. It's a big market. So we had to first find um, a day which was not so busy like Sunday. And uh, we obviously had to have um, um, security because of the area boys and everything but we 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 knew that we needed all that so we had to make sure we had the right partnerships with agencies on that the lagos state but to my surprise contrary to what you hear about um, partnering with state governments where there's so much bureaucracy it's not that it's not existent but there's quite there's quite some level of transparency because many of them were we open arms to our project and we, we followed the right protocol and everything and they were really really receptive to it but it took quite a while because obviously working with the government there's a lot of protocols and trying to make sure that everything is in check but it was actually quite um, accessible to and also when you have the right um, funding to the there's a level of um, quality you can be able to assess as well with the right people on board Suspect is in a blue Toyota Corona. Black Fist Pay Pay ID 116EX. I repeat, 116EX.
everything has been planned out. No. I only need a fast drive. We had a fire sequence purely cemented in Nigeria. If I was showing someone yesterday and was asking that, oh, how did you guys make the fire? And it was pure CG. We had some other sequences that also subtly done because we all know CG to be something that it's in your face. It's a transformer. It's something. But there are some elements like, for example, there was a scene we couldn't um, we couldn't have that prop on set. We just put it in CG um, with, with the head of visual effects. So it's something that's really shaping um, storytelling and making scriptwriters have that freedom to think about any story they want to do. As a director, Gambo becomes the de facto strongest authority on set, even when virtually all his cast and crew members are older and more experienced in the filming industry. The first challenge he must solve is assuming and wielding that leadership position over his older colleagues. I knew I was going to work with people that were like 20 years in the industry. So first of all, I, had to, I definitely had to know my onions as well. So I did a lot of research. I tried to make sure that I was on top of my game. But there's this culture in, um, in, in Africa, that this culture of respect. So in as much as um, I was the boss on the set, there's this level of respect I still used to address them. But there's, I think what it could be still boils down to professionalism. We are all professionals. On set, we know who is leading the set. So. Um, there's that respect that, oh, he's the director on set. But after the set, they can all go back to the all African respect. But on set, we, we just try to do the job and do the best job possible. His foray into filming is born out of sheer curiosity. While he's currently receiving formal training in constructions and designing as a civil engineering student, he's surfing the internet acquiring knowledge on filmmaking. Uh, funny enough, I haven't been to his film school, at least when I've not been to film school yet. The, probably, the only film school I've probably been to is YouTube and um, some other film books. Um, primarily, I'm actually studying civil engineering. My journey started in Sondra level. That was uh, about three to four years ago. I discovered animation. And um, I, I saw that animation could solve the problem of what we call bad film tricks in Nigerian movies. And I saw the same softwares I used were the same softwares used in Hollywood. So what's stopping us from achieving pr good production values in terms of visual effects? And that's because of patience and funding as well. So we did the first pilot project, uh, which was chased down. We bought a Lamborghini, a CG Lamborghini, into the school community. And it, became, it was very laudable that it was featured on the biggest technology conference. Then I started to have this big passion for film because I was trying to solve a problem in the, in the film industry, which is to bring new genres and also to use visual effects in our film. So I entered into film. I, I, I'm proud my dad had gone to New York Film Academy at that time. So he had a lot of film book materials which I consumed. And um, YouTube has also been my very good friend where I, I go to, to learn. I have a lot of um, mentors in the industry as well, which I learned from from time to time. But basically, I'm, I'm a self-taught filmmaker. and. Um, I do a lot of research. I, I, if, you, if, you, if you see the set for Pursuit, there are a lot of elements you see in a Fast and Furious movie, like the toy cars we are using to simulate how the chase will go. We had storyboards. We just tried to reinvent the process to make sure that we do something really special that can be acclaimed on an international level. Pursuit premieres in March 2018, and with that, he's hoping he would have made strong enough a statement to venture into a Hollywood-type explosive feature-length movie.